In the previous video, we learned how to prevent the navigation of a user using the navigation log component. So if I put something here and I don't press insert and I try to leave, we get this confirmation dialog. Now this is fine, but in real life, this may not be as appealing visually as it needs to be. So what we can do is to use a library called SuiteAlert2 to make this more appealing. So let's see SuiteAlert2 first. For that, we can go to suitalert2.github.io and here, as you can see, we have how a suitalert model looks like. So what we're going to do is that we're going to integrate suitalert2 with Blazor, which is actually pretty easy. If we go to Google and we write Blazor suitalert2, we're going to see that we have this package called currytechnologies.resort.suitealert2 and we can install that Nugget package on our application and we will be good to go. Let's see that. Let me come back to Visual Studio and I want to go to the Solution Explorer. I want to right click on the client project and I want to click on Manage Nugget Packages. Let me go to Browse and let me paste here Curry Technologies Alert 2 install and that is installed. Now I can go to the program class again from the client project program and below here I can say Builder Services Suite alert to and let's import the namespace curry technologies resource with alert 2 now i want to go to the index.html file which is located in the www root directory and in here below this script we're going to put a script that they have here let me come down here i'm looking for this add the script tag here I'm looking for this one so I can just click on here to copy paste here and then I have to go to the imports component and let me say here using curry technologies dot razor dot suitealert2 and now we're good to go we can start using suitealert2 so let's go to the index component let's come up here I will inject the suitealert service suite alert service i'll call it swal and then here on the on before internal navigation event i want to come here and say var result equal to await swal fire async new suite alert options and then pass the following parameters a title confirmation and just so you don't have to see me typing everything, I will just paste it. And as you can see, we have text, icon, show cancel button, confirm button text and cancel button text, semicolon here. Now I can delete this confirm line, but what I will do here is that I will say bar confirm not a string is null or empty result value, semicolon here. And with this, if this is true, it means that the user click on the confirm button text. So I negate that and I have prevent navigation again. And that's it. Let me compile my application. Let's come back to Google Chrome. And now if I write here Felipe and try to leave, now we have the same confirm dialog, but using SuitAlert2. If I click on no wait, then I'm left here. But if I click on yes, I wish to leave, then I can leave. So as you can see, it is really easy to integrate SuiteAlert2 with Blazor. If you want to learn more about Blazor, please check out my Udemy course today and learn from scratch. I also have courses on Entity Framework Core, Concurrency in C Sharp, and more. Link with a discount in the description of this video. Thanks.